today we are continuing our adventure through the tropical wonders Costa Rica has to offer. We'll have a full day of exploring La Fortuna region. We start off our day with the majestic La Fortuna waterfall. We then head over to walk the Bogarin Trail searching for sloths. And we'll end the day by stopping at the must-visit attraction of El Salto. Come along on this captivating journey through the lush landscapes and cascading waterfalls in La Fortuna, Costa Rica. We made it to La Fortuna Waterfall. You can see it just stunning waterfall behind me. It was about a 20 minute ride from the center La Fortuna and it is 18 US dollars per person to enter. They give you a wristband. You can be here as long as you want. They open at 7 a.m. and they close at 15 which is 3 p.m. and it looks like you have to take a hike down to the waterfall but it looks like it's so worth it it's nice going down but it's gonna be difficult coming back up crash on your back yeah so you gotta be careful that you're not close to any rocks you can easily spend a full day here there's an area where the river flows and visitors can hang out and relax soaking in the views and fresh water the way up is just as beautiful but my glutes on fire yes we're now leaving at 10 and there's big groups coming in so highly recommend coming a little early All right, the next place we're visiting is Bogarin Trail, which is popular for slot sightseeing. And it's about 15 USD to get in here, 45 if you want to, if you want to get a guide. We didn't get a guide, but I am starting to regret it because we're here to find slots. And slots seem to be very camouflaged with their environment. We are probably gonna be here for like three hours trying to just take it slow and find slots. Not even two minutes later, they spotted a slob. If you don't want to come with the guide, try and look for a place where a tripod has been because up here is where we found our first, first sloth. All right, up there is another sloth. We're two count. We found two sloths, babe. How does your neck feel? We're gonna feels horrible. need to do some stretches, that's for sure. You hardly ever see the volcano uncovered. We did notice that we were able to catch glimpses of the volcano being clear after it rained and in the morning. All right, we're done. At the reception, when we purchased our tickets, they recommended we do the outside loop and then do the inside loop here. It was worth it. We saw two slots, an owl, because we saw a tour guide pointed out. A black and white owl that was sleeping. We saw lizards, birds. For not baby. having, yeah, for not having paid for a tour guide, I think we did pretty okay. Everyone's usually very friendly. If they see something, they'll tell people that are around them. So. It's really a team effort out here. Yep. We helped a few people out. 
pay, paid it forward. There's a cafe here. We're gonna get some coffee. We got a praline brownie and some coffee to go. The coffee is so cold right now. It's so good. We took a bite and it was good. And it's very chocolatey, very thick layer of chocolate. So it's good that we have some coffee to wash it down with. All right, we made it to El Salto, which is the area that locals and tourists alike made popular. It's actually on Google Maps now, so it's easy to find. And once you get to this area, there's vendors out there and parking spots. It's pretty popular. Salto means jump, hence the rope jump that it goes on here. We're in this little area, a little further down from where the rope is, and we're just gonna hang out and watch everybody jump up. Carry you out. There goes Nick. Woo! You did it. How does it feel? It feels exhilarating, but I have water up my nose. <laughs> After our full day of water activities and trails, we had passed by this area called La Fortuna Containers. And you know we like to have options, so here the restaurants that are open are Salvadorian food, it's Mexican, and an Indian food spot. We're trying most of the things that are open. We got some beers, samosas, pupusas. A beer from Costa Rica. Supposedly it's, it's made with sugar cane some kind of special water. It's an IPA though. The creation of our samosas is just so lovely. We have mint, a sweet tamarind, and a spicy one over here. Okay, let me try the sweet sauce. Mmm, mm, that's spicy. Let me try the mint one. Mm-hmm. And the sweet one. Honestly, the chicken, it's a chicken samosa. And it has a lot of flavor and the sauces just puts it over the top so good Nick is getting his pupusa ready I'm trying to create the perfect bite little curtido with some salsa on top and a perfect bite size let's see how it is soak in those flavors mm. that is delicious very crunchy crust but very soft on the inside she's Salvadorian and tastes very authentic You won't run out of thrilling adventures in La Fortuna. If you make it out to the waterfall, head out early. The parking lot was empty when we arrived, but full by 10 a.m. as we were leaving. And also, take note of the stairs you have to climb on the way back up. Sometimes paying for a guide is a way to go. We were lucky to have seen several slots, but nothing beats the knowledge of an expert. And don't miss out on El Salto. The acrobatics from the local jumpers were insane, and it's free. We hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a like and make sure to subscribe as we head over to the next destination in Costa Rica, Manuel Antonio. Thanks for watching and catch on the road. You ride. Are you insured? Yeah. By survival? Nope. I can't take that ride. Uh, oh, no. Oh my God. Que lo saquen. There you go. There you go. Atta boy.